Well, hands up if you're still absolutely buzzing from Tottenham away at the weekend. Honestly, it was probably my favourite away performance we've had since Leeds away last season. Even going back to Man United, the 1-0 win at Old Trafford back in 2021, it was such a complete away classic performance that you really want to see. It was clever, it was composed, and Unai Emery is really that guy that you want in charge of your team. When it comes to clever substitutions, intelligent game management, and just absolutely everything was spot on. The system, everything, perfect. Kamara and Louise in the midfield looks absolutely world class. McGinn was getting in the right positions and looks like his old self. Wendy getting on the score sheet for the first time since August. Everything, especially in that second half, everything just progressed and looked so good. It really did. Now, I don't want to get ahead myself it was the perfect start to 2023 but there's a long way to go this season a lot of games to go he's won his first three out of four in the Premier League which is absolutely fantastic because they're not easy games as well by the way but 2023 I am buzzing for it but on to our next challenge Wolves at Villa Park Wolves who've only scored 10 goals all season which is the lowest in the whole league Diego Costa's been poor this season and Raul Jimenez hasn't quite been the same since his terrible injury a couple of years ago however in recent years Wolves have had the better of Villa both home and away. The most recent game at Villa Park where Villa would tune up in the 81st minute and managed to lose. Anyway, a feisty evening awaits, but just before that, 50,000 subscribers. Genuinely, that is mental. Thank you so, so much whether you subscribed literally a week ago after the Tottenham game or you've been here for the whole six years that I've been doing Villa on tour. Genuinely, a massive thank you for that. It's a huge milestone and I can't quite believe it. So a massive thank you, everyone. Really do appreciate it. Main news is, of course, Emi Martinez starts. Absolutely buzzing that. That is what we needed. The team's a little bit different, obviously. There's a few injury worries. John McGinn comes out. Massey Cash goes into that position, though, which I don't mind, obviously. He's played a right wing before. I don't mind it. Louise is fit, which is big. I don't know. It's a tough one. I don't think there's going to be loads and loads of goals in this. I'll go 1 0. Get one over on these because they've beaten us far too many times recently. Jamie, Hello. what are we saying, Sunshine? Wolves at home. I'm going to be a bit more optimistic. I mean, okay. they're going to they're gonna take a draw. They're going to sit yeah, on the ball. They'll take a draw. Um, I'm going to go 2 1. And number 44, Rubicon Gamora! your final score prediction, Mose? Um, I think it's going to be 2-1. Oh, we're going to turn it around? Yeah, I think we'll score a goal around the 17th minute and then yeah. score one around the 80th and get another one. I hope you're right, mate. Give us not the Villa.
Jesus. It's an open goal. Oh, and his reaction says, oh, oh man. And he's going to lose. That Bailey miss. That Bailey miss. I've just watched the highlights and I don't think it's... It doesn't look quite as bad on TV. I'm not sure whether that's just me, but... Kilman's getting back on the line, potentially could have got there. It doesn't look quite as bad from uh, my view in the upper hole, but it's still a horrendous miss and it's still a golden, golden opportunity to take three points out of a game that we probably didn't deserve. I'm more than happy with the points. Take that Bailey situation out of it. I'm, I'm more than happy with the point, especially after that first half where I thought we were really, really poor. Like I said at half time, nothing stuck. We didn't have a plan. We couldn't keep the ball for more than three seconds or three passes at least. Wolves just absolutely ran everything and we were quite lucky to go in at 1 0, to be fair. I thought we missed. McGinn, I thought he was absolutely fantastic against Tottenham and we missed that sort of player buzzing around. Matty Cash experiment at right wing, sort of midfield role didn't quite work out. Ashley obviously keeping his place at right back, but I thought we missed McGinn a little bit last night. Luis and Kamara didn't quite look as solid and composed as they did against Spurs the other day. And yeah, it didn't quite happen. Buendia struggled a little bit. He does the hard work, Buendia. It just comes down to the, the final pass where he struggles, which is a little bit frustrating to watch. Bailey was at, he saw quite a lot of the ball, to be fair. Couldn't quite beat his man, though a little bit frustrating to watch um, but yeah you, you take that it's, it's a good sign actually that we've had a, a poor performance and we've actually been able to escape with something because under Gerrard or last season we would have lost that game we just would have rolled over so it's good to see a reaction I don't think the booze at half time helped anyone I don't think that's justified yes we, we can all see it's not a good performance the players will know that it wasn't a good performance in that first half I don't think the booze really helped anyone and there was no need for it but yeah like I said I'm, I'm content I'm content after the last night I think it's just one of them games you got to forget um, and anyway, on to FA Cup action at the weekend. Me and Simon will be doing a podcast talking about Spurs, talking about Wolves, talking about Stevenage um, that will come out potentially, what day is it? Probably on Friday. So stay tuned on that. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, stay tuned for the podcast. Um, always a good listen. And anyway, without further ado, please do smash a like on this video. Get down in the comments. Let us know what you're thinking on the Wolves game. Are you looking forward to Stevenage? The start of our FA Cup winning run. Um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to Sunday. Should be a good one. Without further ado, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already and up the villa.